All right, guys. My name is Rodrigo Ribeiro, Chimbica. I am a black belt under Master Bita from the Grace Barra. So I train uh, 27 years old. I was a black belt at 15 years old, for degree. I started my I started Jiu Jitsu because one time I saw my my cousin in one tournament in Brazil. It looks wow, this is amazing. So I want to try. I was 12 years old, and then I started Jiu Jitsu with Master Bita and Master Jucão. The both guys working together in, in Teresópolis, Brazil. So that's amazing times. And then I will start Jiu Jitsu and never stop anymore. So that's I love Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, I was was in Teresópolis. In Teresópolis. Uh, it's a, it's a small seat, but there have a lot of BJJ stars, a lot. Like uh, Robson Moura, Marcel Ferreira. Uh, man, I can, I can, maybe I can forget someone, so most of you guys. And then the Gracie family, also, they, they live there for a couple of years. Machado Brothers, so, man, that's a, a jiu-jitsu place. I feel very lucky to, to born there. When, when I was a, I get my black belt, my first fight, my first tournament, my first fight, I fought against Amor Ibitet. So that's so scary for me, you know, because Amor Ibitet is so huge, so strong. Uh, I don't know, two times world champion, open weight, so man, I'm so scared. But it's okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's okay for me, I, I did my job, of course, I lose. And about the training, I, have, I had a, a lot of, of amazing part, training partners, you know. And then one time, I was in the, in the gym and my master called me, say, let's train with you, Rice Grace, because he had one fight against Valid Ismail. And then say yes, why not? Let's go. And then me and him, we train like uh, 15 or something like that, 15 years, 15 sorry, 15 days with him to to help him for this fight. And then you guys can imagine in the semi match, me, Royce Grace, and Elio Grace, and Bita. So I uh, I don't know if. It, if I'm stepping, if I'm sitting, if I, I do very crazy because you guys cannot imagine that that's so huge thing, you know. Uh, and after that, I I training, I go to the Rio de Janeiro, yeah, to train in Grace Barra. Also, I train with Roberto Correa Gordo for many years because I'm starting my MMA career, so. In Teresópolis, it's, it's because it's a small city, you know, it's a difficult to get and fight, and so I, 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 I had to show myself, you know. That's why I moved to the Rio, trained there, and then I, I had so, um, so amazing times. Training partners, fighting, I know I have the, the opportunity to meet someone like Enzo Gracie, Kira Gracie, the semi match, you know, Hillion Gracie, Roger Gracie. I saw Roger Gracie, he's a purple belt. He's, he's very younger, very, man, he's amazing. I was in Brazil, I had a couple MMA fights, so all of, of us, you have a dream to fight outside of Brazil, you know? And then one time I spoke to my, to my master, you know, in the, this time, Roberto Correa, Gordo. I, I asked him, hey, you know, I want to, to move out to Brazil, or teaching outside, or fighting, you know, someone, somewhere. He say, you really want? Yes, I want. And then he said, okay, I will talk to my brother, Rafael Gordinho, 
and then I'll let you know something. After three days, he come back, say, hey, are you ready for you move? You want? Say, yes, I want. Okay, my brother going to contact you. Say, all right. The same day, Rafael called me, and then he gave me the what I need to do, you know. And then say, oh, that's amazing. And then he say, okay, you want to work in Singapore? I say, well, Singapore, man, what is that? I never, I never think, you know. I cannot imagine it. I go to Singapore. And then after two months, I get a flight, go to Singapore, and start my professional life, you know. So I had uh, 22 fights, 12 wins and 10 losses, you know. My three last fights is so, man, it's a huge fight, huge. Three tough guys. Actually, my, if you guys have opportunity to watch my, my share dog, you're gonna see the, the tough guys I fought before, all in my, all my whole life. So that's good. I have a good experience. That's good for me. You know, I'm so lucky to, to this happen with me. But when I was in Singapore, I try to focus in my Muay Thai game, you know, because in Brazil you don't have like, you have, but it's not a pure Muay Thai, you know. There in Singapore we have like 20, 22 Muay Thai instructors, world champions, so you cannot imagine how, how big is that, you know, how, how amazing. And one time I fight and go to Thailand and fight him and fight um, Muay Thai in one time. It's amazing. The noise, the songs there, oh, it's like magic. I fought there, I win by TKO. So, it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, right, right now I moved to UAE. Not right now, I have been here like two years and a half. I start one, I'm working you know, to program for the army program. I teach in sh soldiers. So that's a, it's an amazing project. I feel very lucky. I feel very happy to be here. And also, I improve my Jiu Jitsu game a lot because so many black belts here, so many tough guys at different levels, different weights, different skills. Oh, I'm, I think I, I don't have uh, the best place to be in my life here in the, the UAE.